And then we also got, a, I'm going to say it right now, but we got a, a Manson Christmas special with, uh, with Michael Chandler. <laughs> Listen, a, when I hear the music, I know that's your cue. Tell oh, them what's guys, really going on. What's really going on is we're going to take a break. During the break, go to Merch Method and buy your Christmas Delta Bravo gear. And we'll be right back. We're going to talk all about Charles Manson. Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Uh, I did that video. I directed that joint. Who did you security know, there? <laughs> you did security there. That's, That's it. it. Thanks for the fucking. We made sure. We made sure that no, uh, you know, people came out the woodworks on that man. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only Michael Chanel. Chanel, <laughs> Chanel, Chanel. What's up, Mike? Let's hear it, buddy. How oh, are you? Good. How are you? Are you good? You're a little subdued right now. I want to thank you because, I mean, <laughs> if people don't know, that's we would have never found that spot. You know, we knew where Spawn Ranch was, but we didn't know where the cave and all that good stuff was. So because I met you and you were kind enough to take us through there, I was good enough to exploit the shit out of that while I while I had the chance, uh -huh. but it was actually nice, so. I read it all <laughs> about it in LA Weekly just yesterday. <laughs> hey, bro, we, did he wanted to know, did they say his name or nah? <laughs> they did, they did. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, man, how are you, bud? Good. good. Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Merry Christmas. All this is our last show. This is the Manson Christmas special, man, like on some 70s TV stuff, man. This is a big deal for us because, you started us? because you were our first guest. Yeah. yeah did you know that? Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay, I've watched all your shows. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Because we, when we first got the show, we were stiff as boards. You know, the cop and him came out, and I was, and him, like, nervous. The hype I, man, I, that's I the front like, man now. And uh, It didn't end at the first one, though, man. I and you were great, because you he would critique us, too. Oh, he was, was like, great, yeah. He was like, you know, I really like that Deborah Foreman girl. She's great. She's spoiled. And then it turned into, like, a home shopping club. CV, what is CBS. going on? <laughs> hey. And, hey, man, in one hour. But, listen, in one hour, we couldn't get it all in. So, in a two-hour show, that would have worked perfect. It wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't. Have, it would have been the last segment right. that we would have shown her jewelry, which is great. But I get it. You wanted to see more of the valley girl and hear more about her that you know about that kind of stuff so and, and you were right but that was also kind of forced our hand we were like you know we need a two-hour show your show we, we were just getting into like the, the the creepy crawl and boop it was like over we were like shocked mm. so, once again everything goes back to charles manson yeah and so we we you were you were you forced our hand it was good we were like you know what he's right we need a two-hour special we need a two-hour thing allison was like no 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 no, no. two hours like, let's go to a half hour let's do a two hour <laughs> I didn't do we're a good half to go hour. we're good so we did it and here we are two hours half so hour ain't worth fighting this traffic out never here, right? no. i wouldn't even get out of bed for the for a half no, hour show no. man uh -huh. but that being said we're glad you're back uh i know we got stoner in the wings and uh you know we wanted to just really re, re go over for people who didn't watch the first show or didn't see it we want to re re go through what we went through before and and then get really into you know all the extra stuff i know in recent times uh as of lately they've announced manson's getting married i know uh you guys been down there going like all in cleaning up things and redecorating things and uh manson has a news break like every month i know yeah, yeah. Mr. Miyagi. And maybe you can help us with that because we don't know if he maybe that's how he stays relevant maybe he makes some you, you know some that relevant in, in the sense the newsworthy you always got to start stir it up to get PR. one minute it's a phone next minute he's getting married before that it was some other thing and it, it keeps the you know what actually when i was alive. talking to him um it was a time before all these all these people now are jumping on oh, and sure, marrying sure, him and shit sure. like that <laughs> and uh he really didn't understand it himself right. you know why am i so interesting I, or people why do people find me so interesting Wait, he really doesn't know, know why he people has find no him clue he has no clue but he <clears throat> Exploits it, sure. He he. Well, what else is he, he gonna he, do? He really doesn't give He's a shit what they say about him in anything. He doesn't care. He really doesn't care. And who else on earth wouldn't care what they say about him? You know, they would have lawyers and everything, and he don't give. A so the media has found that out over time too, and they just exploit the hell out of it. If there's any little bit of truth, they just go right on it. Right. And actually today. The National Enquirer has him in there because they went and did an interview with the girl who said that she's going to marry him. They went back to that girl's mother. Star's asked, mother, yeah. And asked her how that. she felt about that. She's like, hey, he ain't coming into this house. Well, back up a little because I don't know anything about it. took a real strong stance. So, Charles Manson's getting married. That's pretty cool. I, I guess anyone can meet someone. Yeah, do you have a that's boyfriend? Good. Maybe he's my next one. I was just going to say, even Manson, you get your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, uh, he gets so much fan mail. Does he actually read each piece of mail you think uh, 
Somebody up there does, because there's nothing really to do in prison. And right. And he's got like 35, 40 people around him all the time that are always wanting a piece of him. In the PC and, tank? And a piece of him is his fan mail as well. Because okay. if you write to him and say, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks, now they got the mail. Now they can get 10 bucks out of you by saying, hey, um, Charlie told me to write you. He told right, me right. to send me the 10 bucks. Put it on the commissary. Exactly. Son. Yeah. Put it on my books, dog. So yeah. you got to watch it. He gets it. his herbal tea uh, maxed out. All right, so... Before we get all into that, though, tell us, just just back us all up. So, you you start communicating with Charlie when? How did you get into Charlie? You know, you, you you're in you have a baseball Water bat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're in the sports. You like Mickey Mantle. We all like so we we all start. You start off a normal. I like pop, kid. I like pop culture. Me too. I like the dark side of pop culture though. Me too. And any time that anybody, you know, I did the whole Disney. I had a kid who had did the Disneyland thing and all that stuff. But okay. I always look for the dark. Disneyland has a haunted house. They got that drop thing. That uh, you know, sure, I always sure. go for the shit and the dark things in there. And like the Queen Mary, they have the haunted part. So Manson right. just falls into that. You know that. But how old were you when you first like became aware of like that was piqued your interest and you were going to kind of pursue that thing? Did you come to California and it came on you like know what, that? Actually, or? what piqued my interest was Bill Curtis and all them programs in the yeah, '90s that they were doing. Man, yeah. they were badass. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And he had like, that great wow, voice this, too. Yeah, he has a fantastic voice. And, and I, that was the first time they were doing like. A channel like dedicated yeah. to just you know like it playing was, those kind of. I was watching those be, as well. One week would be Gacy, then we'd be Bundy, and then we'd be Manson. And okay. Manson was always the. But the you're one. not originally from California, I guess. What no, I'm. No, I'm from Ohio. Okay. Um, Cincinnati Reds or, or New no, York Yankees? What's I up? Was, no, I was a Cleveland Indian fan. Wow. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Hey, I went hey, to Municipal that. Stadium. Actually, uh, speaking of the Yankees. I was at Cleveland Stadium with my dad at a baseball game when they announced on the loudspeaker that Thurman Munson just crashed and died. Oh, and I was like, that was my guy too. I got when I go to, anytime I go to a rivalry game where a fight could pop off, I always wear my uh, Thurman Munson joint. Last time I was at Dodger Stadium, we played. I almost set it off too. You yeah, were there. That's right. I almost had to put my hand, goon hand on somebody, but uh, I come in my Thurman Munson, bring that spirit. You know what I mean? That's but, that uh, was the last time he cried was when Thurman went down. That's it. I, I, uh, you said you were a Mickey Mantle fan. I'm a big Mickey Mantle fan. And I've had this ever since I was a little kid. Wow. This thing probably, it's probably at least 35 years old. Get out. It's, it's yours, beautiful. man. You can wow, have it. Wow, man. Thank you, my man. Wow. I mean, just Whoa. Don't, don't sell it to nobody. The Irish shotgun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mantle is an asshole. Don't he just, sell it to anybody. He just logged on to <laughs> eBay right now, and that thing's gone. Uh, hey, man. And, Listen. And, and as well, he, wow. he, he on, his, on the Facebook page, he's also a, a fan of the honeymoon or so. See? Yeah, Look. man. Here's a card with some money in it. That's oh, it. My man. Funny Listen. money. Let's see here. Wow. Art Carney. You can feel the weight in this. You know they don't make them like Ed this Norton. anymore. These bats break when they play with them. So no, I'm look at that thing, man. It's beautiful. Wow. Even the patina on it. it it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I will never Except sell it. Except I drew it. on Listen. it as a kid. I, f I fucking went over his name, saw him with a pen oh, and shit. I don't care about all that. That's Listen, it's, do, a, it's a thought that counts, Thank man. You, and, man. And, and I love this anyway, man. This is going to go in the permanent collection. That being Would said, yeah. Art Carney autographed on what's the backstory on this? That's actually, um, there was a Honeymooners episode when uh, Ralph was a banker and he invited Crampton over and they were in the bank and it was closing hours and Ralph shut the vault and had the money. So he's like, oh, and he had nice. to take it home with him. That was the money on that episode. Thank you, man. Yeah, great. Jackie Gleason's We're my man. We're a big fan. I mean, we love he's all that. He's the patrol his neighborhood. Listen, I brought you something too, man. I, I, I do these little things in Japan, so it's a death's head smurf. We call it smirks. It's like a murder <laughs> wow. smirk. And uh, they're in J Jap Japan only, me and David Flores and the Hellfire Candy Club thing. We, we merged all the brands together with a toy company in Tokyo. And uh, so we make those, man. So a I brought you one of those. Smirks? Yeah, with the, with the death's head. So I know it's right up your strouse. You should freaking make one called, <laughs> right. make one called Manson. Oh, well, hey, man, maybe we'll have to, me and you have to start, you know, do whittling collabo. away. Let's He's do it. Let's get to Pop. <laughs> That's it. Hey, Papa Manson. There it is. Look at <laughs> Sarah, it. Sarah, Papa at, Manson. I can, I can see the money just, you know. <laughs> there so it is. So good stuff, man, and uh, that's what's up, and I, I appreciate the gift, and like I said, I, you know, it's not... Uh oh, I hear the music. I but, hear uh, Manson. That's Manson that's it. music. Yeah. It sure is, man. He's, on, he's rocking a six string on that. He was actually a good musician. Yeah, he was. This I was, like it too. To the Listen, song. Really well, you wouldn't be song. here twice if we didn't like him as well oh, as man. in the sense of like the whole. There's a lot of stuff going on with him that's still intriguing. So it that's make, why we're it still makes here. Makes you feel like a hippie all over again. Man. Yeah. Well. Oh, he's know. still there. Uh, if he could grow the ponytail, he would have that right now. Don't let me break the soul pole. You hearing that music, Mijuli? We're what gonna, does that mean? We're going to take a little break. We'll it's be right back. It's going to take a little break. All right, let's pay some bills. We'll be right back. With Michael Channels. With the Manson. And Stoner. Christmas special. We 
started this exploring of this Manson deal back in the 80s. And since then, things have come and things have gone. But we've, able, we've been able to save lots of things that pertain to that history. And that has a lot to do with your explorations as well. On saving some of the things that might be lost. Some the items that Charlie gave us himself. Some of the things that he has personally used inside his cell. We're also able to save and recover some items. Like this retro 1960 something chair. From Barker Ranch itself. From the doom book of the Manson family. You know, so these are some of the things that get lost throughout history. They just get thrown away and in track known remaining remnants of the cabinet that Manson was caught in at Barker Ranch. And this is only a, a tiny little sliver that was around the bottom of the cabinet as molding. And these are parts of the wall small. that fell off. <laughs> Give it up, yo. I mean, you know. This, this this is something that uh, you produced yourself. I mean, these what, what what do we watch here? I mean, it's a little. What? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you gotta tell them at home because we were talking earlier. You know, we're in a, we're living in a time where, you know, in the first time in history where you can basically broadcast out of, off off of your phone, or off of you know what I mean, and and make movies and put it out to the world via YouTube and stuff like that. And that's how we met. We met on YouTube. Right. You know that, right? Right. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stoner. We met on YouTube. Stone yes, Van Houten. Thank you. That's my man, Van Houten. You know what? I got a crush too. My wife ain't gonna like to hear this, but I got a crush on Leslie too, man. So you know what I mean? I, how can but you But that's not? Leslie Nielsen, though. It's a little yeah, different. Well, <laughs> hey, <look. laughs> right. hey, there he goes to the backup plan. Oh, there we go. Oh, my. Hello. Listen, my hey, nice. bro. Hey, Allison, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Stoner, before, let's just get this out of the way. I brought you a Death's Head, uh, Death's Head Smirk, too, man. Oh, right we make on, all these man. things in Japan. Right so uh, Thank you. That's for, your, uh, <laughs> that's for your personal collection there. And so we yeah. met on, if, if you guys don't know, I was looking that's to go, nice. when we first started doing the early uh, urban exploration stuff, Spawn Ranch was always a big one where I wanted to see, you know, where Manson had, you know, hung out and did his thing. I went to the ranch. It's really easy to find the ranch. However... There is a cave that I was looking for, which is below the ranch in a ravine. Is that right? And there's canopy of trees over it. So when, when I went out by myself, couldn't find it, went out with my missus, we were standing right over it. Now I know where it is. Looking down, I was kind of scared to go in there by myself and take my missus in there as well. Because, you know, it's like, yeah, you, you got it. You're committed at that point. Too. Yeah. So when I went there by myself. I was scared a lot. And your time. video, yeah. and you've got so many videos now, I don't even know where to look for it happened. But you had one that said Back Porch Tape Presents, you know, Directions to the Spawn Ranch. And I, I watched your thing and I still was like, it's great, but I, I'm really easily lost, you know, and if I don't have any, it's. He needs I need somebody, for dummies. Yeah, I need somebody for, you know, to tell me what's real. So I hit you up on there literally on my phone i was like yo i can't find it and you're like where are you yeah how the hell do you respond to that that quick on it. youtube and i go Facebook. i go i'm down here where are you at homie and he's like, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I go, bring it. <laughs> Come at me, bro. And you were basically down there, you know, in about a half hour, we talked on the internet. You came down there, and he pulled up in a white, uh, well, would you want me to, you know, yeah, pick it's a white pickup truck. And uh, he came out with this backpack, and so I'm sticking out the thing, and I'm thinking, yeah, so I'm thinking duct tape, shovel, <laughs> and a shotgun. I'm thinking, oh, I man. had it all, too. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, they come equipped. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at you. I had it, too. I'm so holding, too. Man. And then you see the, him. Yeah, and I saw him. Holy, <laughs> you mean we were need to get a new bat, but that's it. <laughs> Match made in hell, right there. So I was like, oh, bro, you know, and uh, you know, you, you were nothing but uh, you know a stand-up dude, man. We and I got to know you, you know, throughout. You know, it's going on a couple years. We've been in this relationship now. But what did you think when you first saw? <laughs> guys are going when steady. When you first saw Danny, he's actually a big dude. Yeah. If you're ever yeah. standing, I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. If, I've mean, seen him in a show. Yeah, but uh, Mike's pretty scary though big. too. Now, when I first <laughs> met Mike, it was the same thing too. When and I Mike, pulled up and I, and I saw him, and when he got out of the car, and I saw him, like, you know, I just okay, you know, the first five minutes, I'll know if I'm going to get in the car. One hundred percent. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And then after about five minutes of meeting him, I was like, hey, you know what? This is actually a good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. I mean, you kind of look like you look when I when I first met you, and you have a look that's like stoic it, it, you you have old world features and i say that in a good <laughs> way like it's good you have that like you look like a character actor from like the, the 30s 40s 50s like when men men when they were men's men you know what i mean cool. and so and then i seen the pentagram and i'm thinking all right like he's gonna you know like you you you're like me in, a, in an outward way people, there's a little cross on there yeah too. no of course and, I, and, and, it's, and it's all good but what i'm saying is from first glance probably from we both probably have it in different ways 
people see us and they go, whoa, you were a bit intimidating when I first met you. I tried and I'm like, that. me? I, I I'm like, that, you know. I, so I when we went to down there, that. I, you know, we, I, 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 you know, no, well, no pun intended, I, I felt them out a little bit before we went into the ravine and stuff. And then we started going in there. Make sure you're going to come out. Yeah, you know, and I'm thinking, I think, make sure you wire. I'm making sure if two go down, two come back up. It's the topic and where you're going down. Yeah, we're going to see Manson sing. Spawn Ranch and stuff like that. Phone reception in there is a little dodgy. to play tricks on you. Really yeah, does. and the, hey, the, <laughs> not to me. It's not. You're no, scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> and originally, you were scared when I was going to have them on, so you were like, you were worried about it. It's, I was it's, scared. If you're not familiar with the topic, it could be a little. Dude, I know. wouldn't invite Manson's friends over here, and I know them. I would be afraid. I'm serious. Most of the people, and you have every right to be scared because sure. most of the people, they have issues with their parents or. Mental disease. I'm not just trying to be funny. No, Most of, of course. No, no. So we take it with all serious. that They we get do, back. man. Right. And they are dangerous ass people. So I mean, you don't know when they're going to snap. For the most part, you really shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Well, now because you mean, got one of those. Hey, bro. You should yeah. see my one too. You really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 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 Give him the pop. I kept my I kept my eyes on you, bro. And I remember you and we were like, hey, let me take your picture and stuff. You're like, move back, move back. I kept seeing like the uh, the Goodfellas where he's like, the Jesses, yeah. they're in there. Like, and they're over here, the cave's over here. Yeah, yeah, go, keep going. He wanted me to do a sniper's overwatch. That's you know, it, we'll man. keep you guys out. But uh, we had a good time. And you were, you, you know, like I said, you really showed me everything. And then we went, we came back, we met another time. And um, we, I said, hey, well, are you willing to be on camera and talk about this stuff and take us through? And, uh, and you were like, yeah, no doubt. And it was raining. You came out, and these dudes that we were working with at the time, they just jumped out, gun, you know, like not guns, bland, the cameras, you know, like, and put the mic in your face. I thought, oh man, you guys are gonna scare this dude. Like he just let let's Actually, work up into that thing. dude. He was on like popcorn. He came out the truck. His his game was already yeah. on. He was Did like, yo, bro, so check it out. You went straight into it, bro. You you you. <laughs> Actually, the I mean, first thing they made me do was sign a contract. Here, oh, we yeah, own yeah. all this shit. And and you like, put, my face. Yo, he handled it. He just was like, he didn't miss a beat. He was like on it, like, and we spent all day, man. We went to the Satan's vagina and all that other good stuff, which is a whole other like the level of the game. The, um, the fountain of the world. That's it. That's See, it. That's the way I met him too. And I like to think I put you onto the fountain of the world because you didn't know where that was over there at that time. I remember. Oh, I knew where it was. I just didn't know that beam was there. I never oh, seen that beam the whole time. I've okay. been there ten years. Okay. Never seen that beam. What's though, the fountain so of the world? It's, it's a whole a, other church that they they it, dynamited it's like up. Box Canyon. Yeah, it's a church that it was like a it was a cult in the fifties that I know of, and then the dude, like all cults, usually they're sex related, and he tried to bag all the all the followers' wives. He did so bag one, them all. Yeah, which so he that did. one and of the followers' came, husband came in with the dynamite <laughs> and la just laced the whole spot up and blew everybody out of there. Actually, the block the man man did Manson try to come over there and take over at one point? Manson stayed on that place for a couple weeks. And lived in the eyeball yeah. of that. There's a skull over there that looks like a skull. So it's there's a it, the onion gets <laughs> different layers of it, and we have actually went to a bunch of these spots. So up just up Santa Susana Pass, you can probably visit. 15 different Manson spots. 100%. But if you're by yourself and you've got a map, it's just a little like, it, 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 as close as they all are to each other, it's not confidence inspiring if you've got this old drawn map from the internet. Don't you're ever like, go uh, by yourself. Because they all kind of no. look like where it could be, where the cars could be pushed over. Yeah. Right. If the, you don't know where road. you're going, yeah, it, man, it's you're, really it gets hard. complicated. Once, right. you, not, once somebody shows you, they don't yeah. have signs. And once somebody shows you, then it's easy to show other people. Because once I've shown other people, they're like, I drive by this all the time. I didn't know it was right there. 100%. Yeah, so that's that's great about it. Like, that's the story of Delta Bravo. I mean, we post people, people are like, dude, I've lived by this 25 years. I had no clue they filmed that there. I didn't know that this happened here. So that's the crazy part. You know, it's like yeah. you know. But I had no idea that Mike Damone sells concert tickets right down on the, there it oh, is, in the right coffee on, shop. Down I know. There. Right by Hollywood. <laughs> had no idea. That's right it. by the Karate <laughs> Kid Dojo. Yeah, and the Karate Kid Dojo is right there. Did you know that? No. Right on the, the corner. The corner thing is a, is where they film the Karate Kid. It's the dojo. Go. Oh, there's man. a little alley that goes Check between that those. I was parts. in that alley like five times that night. I was yeah, so pissed man. off. There was no parking around there. Everybody know, was it was twenty tough. bucks apart. Hey, you just had to double park. We had you. Yeah, man. I was gonna park at Metro, but I thought I would get towed. Mm. But you stoner came out. Yeah, it was great hot chocolate there. I heard. Yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Fantastic. And and nice. the price. <laughs> And nice. the price is everything was uh, great. Yeah, yeah he, he makes I'm himself, glad, man. And I, you know, thank you guys for coming down. It meant a lot to me. You know what I mean? We had a lot of good people out. A lot of. Old, it was like a block party. Yeah, it was fun. It, so three hundred plus. Uh, I heard when the estimated. helicopter. Hey, the helicopter when it went over, a few dudes took off. They're like, hey, let's get oh, out no. of here. They were on parole. They're like, hey, I better just. Jump. <laughs> the dude I was with was like, what, what's going on? Why do they always need these helicopters? Yeah. There's no criminals around here. That's our tax dollars. Blah blah blah. And then all. And of then a sudden, it goes, Happy birthday, Danny boy. Happy birthday, Danny boy. Danny boy. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. On the helicopter? Yeah. Yeah, we had yeah. Uh, when, so when we started cool. doing yeah, Dave, the urban exploration. Your boy Dave jumped out the spot. You know, he <laughs> ran yeah, down he, the block. Yeah, yeah. He, he, sh- he shit himself. <laughs> Did he, <really? laughs> he left his shoes there too. Right. And he ran so fast. Yeah. <laughs> the girl the girl the the woman that we you know, yeah. The, yeah. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that was fun. A woman that's jumped great. out of the helicopter yeah, too. Right. <laughs> like that. Literally. So yeah. Anyway, so listen, so bring us back because we, we've already, you've already you know told us before, but for people who don't know, you guys are basically like heavy into the manse and stuff. You've actually visited. You be you're down there. I'm there all out. the time. I know, I know, and and it's great. You know what? Let me just say this, and then I'll let you guys go. You know, go into it. But every morning I see your, your post. You know, and and even though we might be on different like uh, trains, it's like a same track. You know what I mean by that? Like you're very right. positive, and you're very. And I found that about you too, which is surprising because you know. Being just like, you know, a stereotypical thing. You think, oh, you guys might be weirdos or this and that. And I find you guys not to be anything like that. You guys are really good dudes. Enough to I'd be like, yo, come to my birthday party. Even though it was open to anybody, I intentionally made sure that, you know, I wanted you guys to be and redo the show. So, But how do, how do you get into this stuff? We've talked about, you know, a little bit about it. But you didn't come out here to... to go down a spawn and all that kind of stuff and you you seem to be from chatsworth or a valley area oh yeah you I'm, heard about it i mean i've been doing it ever since i was a kid and then now that the internet just made it even easier right. so before everything was hands-on you had to do everything and do all the paperwork yourself and then once the internet came around i just all i really did was just started commenting on his videos right next, so you're like and me, then yeah. he told me about his facebook page i went to his page he saw mine then he started seeing my pictures he's like you go to spawn ranch and then all it took was one day he messaged me and said do you want to meet at spawn ranch for a hike and i was like let's do this man. <laughs> oh, you know BFF. and that's and, right and that's all it took but i was just like you i was a little nervous i was like oh who am i going to meet you know i've seen his posts i've seen everything on there and next thing you know i went there and, and really learned a lot man it was great right. but when he first came out you were like whoa, whoa yeah at first whoa, whoa, hold it, on yeah. now like oh <laughs> No, Ozzy Osbourne was a Manson fan. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> a young Ozzy. There it is. Yeah, and then 10 minutes later, man, next thing you know, we're down there. Everything's great. We're at the cave and talking, and, and the hours just start flying by. And next thing you know, it was, it was about five hours later. Wow. And it becomes yeah. a family, like uh, like how I met him at Kenneth Angus thing. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, we met on Facebook, Hey, there's another too, Manson you know? connection. Of yeah, course. exactly. That's I said. Well, everything that we do somehow goes back to Manson. Yeah. Did they say Crazy. there's the six degrees of Kevin Bacon? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. also hey, the only bacon degrees of Charles I don't like. Manson. The only bacon I don't like. It's Kevin Bacon. Oh. <laughs> 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 Never seen it. No. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'll do that routine. He, he's a fan of the remake. Don't. Oh, the routine <laughs> I like, but no, 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 uh, yeah, no. Before no, I forget, I'll speaking hold. of uh, Six Degrees, we were chatting online and you were talking about uh, Jimmy Mack from the Westies. Oh, yeah. Because uh, when we dropped that uh, LA Weekly article, our man TJ English uh, gave us a shout out on his page, which uh, meant the world to me and Danny, since we're huge fans of the book The Westies and TJ English as an author. The Westies. And then you chimed in, you're like, hey, I know a Westie. I, so, I, um, so let me know about that. The Westies book. I actually was the first. I, I gave um, Jimmy Mack Westies, one of the guys that was involved in that gang, right. Hell's Kitchen. Right. I, I gave him his first opportunity to read that book. I actually know him, too. And that's one of the six degrees of Charles Manson. That guy knows every criminal out there. And But where was that? Had, he was had, in Corcoran with him. And they all just write you out of the blue. Hey, Manson just gave me your mail, just like I was telling you before. And it right. happened to be Jimmy Mack. I was like, okay, I'll write this dude back because I like to right. know a lot about the Westies. And I did, and he'd call me, and I'd buy him books and things like that. And then he got moved from Corcoran, and that was the end of that. I but thought he was doing federal time, so he did No, he was, he, was doing, he, was doing time in, he was doing time in Corcoran, and that tells you one thing. He was a snitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, aired him out. Yeah, yeah. of course. No doubt. But that music, that tells me one thing, too. What does that tell me? We're going to take a break. That's it. It tells her the same thing it tells me. We'll be right back, y'all. The Manson Christmas Special, Stoner Van Houten, Michael Channels, and the Delta Bravo team. We'll be right back. So bring only your perfection, for there must surely be no quote. I mean, you got your own little thing going, man. You're like an editor, a film guy, a, a historian, a just curator. Just by the computer. Just you did, did yeah. you? Rather than liking shit on Facebook, I try to create shit. You do. So do. I mean, you had, didn't you have a page with, like, you know, millions of, of things on there that they deleted for the... What happened with I, your first I had YouTube? A, I had a, um, the first YouTube page I had had almost four and a half million views with about two, 2,500 subscribers, and it got taken off for uh, copyright infringement. It really, it was a real touchy thing. There was a guy who made a movie, and he sold little pieces out to different news stations, and I had some news clips on that had those pieces in, uh-huh. and he got me that way, so he took uh-huh. it down. 
I started over again. I'm already back to um, almost three and a half million views. Damn. And wow. um, I started a new video on how to get to the cave with me and you. You're in it, too, nice. if you watch it. All right. I'm yeah. going to shut that down. Let me shut that down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right. Here goes another copyright. <laughs> yeah, there goes another. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, and, no, I And it just down. happens to be a House of Pain song in That's the background. It. Actually, <laughs> right. I need actually, a few shackles, my friend. Did you sign a release? <laughs> There's none of that shit in there. Oh, you I can't know, even I see my left side of your arm. We talk, we talk <laughs> at the end about, you know, when, we, when he didn't know, he's like, what do you, we were talking what we do for a living. I was like, at the end, coming out of there, I knew I was like, home free oh by the way you know i rap i do this that and the third and we, that's the know. video that got me um, knowing my yeah, nice. I, well, I saw that video that's, that's and then great, i commented you, on it you got in there it. like you know you've been yeah. you took it like the bull by the horns no 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 bruno you know what i mean and just like <laughs> you went straight in there because now i know you're you you and your boys are cleaning out the cave and redecorating yeah, well, i'm surprised there's not furniture down there like in no, the whole but tell them about think, real quick i mean because you you went down there we went down you there fell we, in love we, with the spot the, the vibe is real tranquil isn't it i mean i love it, it. i go like, down it there by myself like an evil spot no it feels like a really mellow it's like yo if, if it wasn't tainted with like nuclear fallout i would probably right. you know, throw a little tent down there you <laughs> even get your mail down there i heard now you know you've been on so much <laughs> i probably could man i probably hey. should no you know a lot of people just are really weird about that when they go down there i'm not like that at all i'm very happy i feel great down there i've been there so many times it doesn't bother me down right, there. I feel like, I, and i, feel I know the, the story yeah, so yeah, yeah. when i take people down there sure they get a little freaked out and they're or whatever it is and you know but after a while you just kind of mellow out and do your thing i love it down there but I've, i found a truck down there dug that out you know what i cut it. my hand on that truck coming up that one time sorry about yeah. that hey, get a tetanus shot on that there, I had um, suck, he wants to be to suck the blood right. out there. Yeah. i told him that's not all yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got bit by a snake too yeah, yeah. and once i was Take done with that I saw, I saw that cave and i've seen the old photo and sure you have too nine people could fit in it at the time nobody could right and then we just cleared that out it was just like a little project down there that i just decided to do one day you know i had a free time went down there now we all love spawn ranch and we hit a lot of different spots but what what spots haven't you hit that you want to well the, the ones i'd like to hit i'd like to see that corvair that mike uh, has been up to uh, the uh, bruce davis corvair and I, but it's it's just in a touchy area where you'd have so to know how to get there this plus, is, uh, this is real that, quick i just want to make sure we throw that up there so that's the cave that's the wave cave right right and that shot that's from the 70s the original shot with the leftover family after they bagged manson and he was in prison at this point right life magazine came down hey there. count the people on there one two three Nine. four five down the fifth yeah, girl down standing almost standing where her head's touching the cave yeah that's yeah. i like yeah. her too she came back ruth ann morehouse no 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 that's her name's uh, jenny gentry oh, oh she nice. came back later for a reunion for the manson family and they put a cave down uh, a tent down there and i went and stole it and they all had witches hats on man no what? This is one, no i swear to you this is yeah, one of the witches that's hats that man that's from party on. land bro right. no, I'm, i don't care where it's from man they had them on they had them on all right. that's right that's you crazy. Get so this one. This is a that. classic. Holy get this one, shoddy. Whistle, shoddy. <laughs> Make sure that happens. <laughs> get that one with the bubble Just lens. Just keep that on the whole segment, man. That looks proper like. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. yeah. There it is. Witchy poo. There it is. I don't know. The spirit of where the, the great, Manson girls might go. And I'm I don't terrified know. right yeah. now. I know. Right. You never You're know. Make a pack right hey, now the the all, all You're going back to the doctor after this one. You better the get a tetanus shot. Squeaky from. <laughs> you better. So I, not for nothing. I, on that photo <laughs> that came up, I also, uh, I, you know, Ruth Ann Morehouse is kind of cute too. You know. Oh, very. Cute. Forgive me, my wife, because. Uh, it, but, but as uh, you can see, you're sitting before it was dug out. You you obviously wouldn't even be able to fit in there. All that now is not even there anymore. There. And you yeah. can sit everybody back in there now. Yeah, you guys have excavated the whole <laughs> thing. Like the whole thing. Nice. You brought a yeah. weed whacker down there and right. a rototiller and a right. The, you know, the state hired these guys as horticulturists. I was going to say, you know? what is even community service? There's even yeah. a framed picture down there with a little memorial. Yeah, we came across spot. some of your stuff before I left to be. You know what I mean? We you did know what that. else is down there that you don't know about? No, you're going to oh, tell God. me that uh, I There's do know about it. You guys, there. go ahead. I'm going to tell you is, this, is it a fireplace that you guys built? No, dude. Because I've seen that. One day it's a swastika, the next day it's a circle. Somebody else did the fireplace. Come on. No, 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 no. I, one of the, there was a couple Manson family members. One of them was, his name's Tick. Teach Speak you. up on that because that thing is like a like a. It's very sensitive. Yeah, it's foul. Or not so. sensitive. Get close to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, hey, that's a different well, show, bro. Uh, <laughs> Mary Carey. Hey, break up the bat. All right, there it is. Um, <laughs> where was I? Oh, T.J. T.J. Wallerman, uh, T.J. the Terrible. He was one of the Manson's right-hand guys. Man, he was with him the whole time from the time they were at the ranch, so all all throughout. He even visited him in prison several years into it well he died in a car accident and it was a major car accident where he was just burned on the freeway almost like paul walker and uh at the scene they scraped his ashes off the seat and um i had those 
and they're buried at Swan Ranch. Did you know that? How did you get those? You got them. I got them because both of the both of the parents, um, TJ, he died in a car accident, and then the girl that he was married to, which was also a Manson girl, her name was Anson 13. You can see her in the Geraldo video with the Manson uh, family reunion, I believe it is. Okay. Um, she died later on, and they had a storage place, and it was just like the storage wars on television where they go and bid for them. Oh, yeah, sure. I love it. I went there and got it myself Damn. and it was paid it was it really expensive you, you paid you him with the art carney funny money i bet no, too. I, I, <laughs> I paid him with cash because nice. these dudes were all meth heads and they were all f scary you buried it down there why just out of respect you wanted to just uh, bless who wants him with match the... who wants uh somebody's freaking who oh, wants you bought them i don't know i'm trying i to didn't know they were in there it was a storage it was a storage and i bought the whole storage let me let so let's what else you got going on here because i see you know i know you collect so a lot of people don't know uh you, you know you collect a lot of uh manson paraphernalia or just counterculture stuff i see you guys got a pretty broad collection out there and when people go to these spots is it okay to just you know have at it and take just whatever you grab want whatever and you want gra yeah. smash and grab and be out or, or hell that, yeah is it cool yeah. to do that no it's not cool well, hey, that. That. you tell him hey there's you know? danny's motorcycle take the back part out of it <laughs> shit have him sign it that's a death sentence right no there. man <laughs> no, okay no. okay when you, go, you gotta ask you know a, a good thing yeah. to do is ask like um hey man so all what the, can you give me from the from the shop. Your precinct. Hey, I do that all the time with um with uh, actual actual. So what you guys are saying basically from now hey. on the caves are yours. Don't touch nothing down Have there. Good manners. Let's see it. Oh, a challenge coin. That, that's one thing that you can get off all the police. Yeah, I know. So if I'm, you ever, I'm holding. yeah, I got I got a couple of them from up in San Quentin. Who a couple of them from Corcoran. I got that one from the uh, L.A. Sheriff's Department. Oh that's, yeah, that's, these are half off. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the real. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the varsity. Hey, but, but Michael, <laughs> see, this is what a real one looks like—the Delta Bravo one. That's Sterling Silver right there, my friend. Oh, he threw out the challenge right there. Yeah, yeah. you got you holding. Of course. You're holding? All right. When I make the next batch, I'll say it right here on air. You got my word on it. I put that on everything. When we make the next batch, I'll bless you guys each with one. We'll number them and everything. I'm yeah. gonna make a. Cool deal. We went one nice. through ten, I think, and yeah. they went like. We're gonna have to make a special. Uh, 13, 13, 13 or thirteen. For them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, M for <laughs> thirteen from M. <laughs> M for Michael. Hey, that was. The salad man to was speak it up. That's right. Team. You know what? But Let's just. You, I'm gonna just play it off the thing. We have a call. I have no idea these things. Might be working, John Z. So, you know, you can come in here and get that aim pop. And who do we got on the line? You're live on air with Michael Delta Channels Bravo and show. Hey, hey, how you doing? It's Johnny Z. I'm from out from Santa Susana, California. Nice. I was, hey, I was calling in to ask a couple questions. I've been exploring up there since '77. The Boy Scouts took us up there when we were kids. Wow. Told us everything, got us all spooked out and everything. <laughs> but I was asking a question for Michael. Has he explored Fernand Falls and the Steel Ranch? Whereabouts would that be located at? Is it That's on the other side of that's on the other side of the freeway. That's where Charlie used to send the girls. It's the first waterfall. Yeah, yeah, sure. I have videos online of those too as well. And it's a pretty place when there's actually water. <laughs> Um, Rare. Yeah, it's up in Devils, up in Devils Canyon. Exactly, exactly. There's a whole big park up in there too that you can explore. Where uh, there's all sorts of things that you can see. Where that's that's also the place where the girls would p push big boulders aside so that they could drive the dune buggies in there so they could get from spawn over to Canoga or I think that's the street. And then they would ride up through the um, right, right. ride up through that water, uh, like the the river all the way down into almost into Dennis Wilson's house without even being discovered right, uh, taking them dune buggies on the road they just off-road those things all the way down to uh, the ocean really if you can believe it from Chatsworth so yeah those are pretty places over there right. you grew up over there Stoner yeah that's yeah, actually I, I was gonna say that's your of, lane on the top of DeSoto I think it is isn't it yeah, they actually Gypsy, Gypsy came out and, and said that was, one of, her, that was one of her favorite places everybody calls it something different I know it is Gypsy's Waterfall but on top of DeSoto and um, Devil's Canyon and stuff like that there's a lot of housing up there so I know you can't get to certain areas like you used to right but uh, uh, that but that just goes into right though, there on how much there is over at that place to discover that has to do with Manson and some one of those songs that you was playing Manson was even sitting in over in that Stony Point over there or Stony Peak or whatever it's called and he wrote that song over there oh, wow. okay. so yeah you there's know. all kinds of stuff you could you could probably go there for the next three days and then start your way up to panga and go all the way up to panga and and there's probably another 75 different sites that you could visit along the way that have to do with where manson's kid was born and manson's kid where he was born 
we we get there and Peter Frampton's dad owns the place. So there's all kinds of shit into along the way too, as even investigating that. You know? Johnny, I thank you for calling, man. I appreciate it. Happy uh, holidays to you. All right, my friend. You too, Delta Bravo and Danny Boy. Hey, all right, guys, have a good one. Happy holidays. Cheers, bro. Now, speaking of artifacts, uh, Michael, I wanted to ask you, uh, there's a guy that, uh, that's a Manson follower named Ben, and he has Manson's shower shoes uh, for sale for five grand. Yeah, I got... Uh, what's the deal what? with that? Those, those shower shoes... Because these are big shower those, shoes, guys. Those, so. the, those were in the... Um, those were actually written up in the Rolling Stone. There's a big old article about those stupid shower shoes where the his his Manson Sobe want to be wife right now was right. fighting over them shower shoes. Actually, I had those shower shoes myself, and I sold them to a guy in Florida, a collector in Florida, for 50 hey. bucks! You 50 know? bucks! Hey, you know, you know what to get me now for... Uh, I, got some I do, I do. Year. I get the Zico's and stuff. <laughs> the, 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 With the, the socks the on. Skip to my loos and stuff. <laughs> All right, Hopefully hey, listen. In the county. I hear the music. I know Allison hears the music. We're going to be right back. We're going to pay some bills. Join us in about uh, two minutes. Two and two. Two and two it is? Two I don't know what it is. We'll be right back with the Delta Bravo. Don't do anything Man's illegal. Manson Christmas special. And they keep you looking back. Somewhere along the line, somebody says, hey, I happened there. So I go check it out. Well, this, this tour that I'm on today, I'm going to show you how to get back to the cave again. And I'm also going to show you how to get to the tree. The tours that I take over here, a lot of them I've taken because Manson showed me where to go. Today we're in search of Manson's tree. He talks about this tree where he used to go and put sleeping bags and tents and I guess he would go there and do drugs and screw women. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, let's get the truck. We're gone. Forget about Leonard Nimoy in search of with that. Michael wow. Channels. Oh, man. I mean, I think that. you need your own show, my friend. Hell yeah. So listen, I, you know, between the breaks, you, you, you're giving up all the good stuff, man, but the people, they don't see that because we're not filming, man. Let's go back over what you got going on here. Artifacts. Like, let's check it out. Let's, yeah, let's when, see the when artifacts. You go, when you go to places, don't graffiti things. Have respect. Okay. Don't take anything. Right. Yeah, Danny, you come know. on. Yeah, I, geez, right? Danny, what the heck? Don't, I didn't graffiti I mean, anything. I've, I've, I've made several videos, and I show things that are part of history, and then you go back two years later, and it's gone, where somebody's taken it. And that really pisses me off, because I could have actually taken it. Right. And said, I'll give you the yeah. picture for You're this. You're it. It, really, it makes me mad. So I only tried to take things that I asked for. And like I was telling you guys at the break, I went to San Quentin, and I went there, I went there with some law enforcement, and they have a museum at San Quentin, and, and it's the funding isn't good in California, you know how that right, is, so right. it's closed down, and nobody can really go in this museum, so like I said, one of my law enforcement friends just gave us pretty much, she... They gave it a key. She got in contact with a guy up there, and pretty much he came and gave us a guided tour, and at the beginning of San Quentin, they got this big, huge rock, this big white rock. So maybe, I don't know what that signifies, but yeah, the, the rock, sheriffs you know, do that. They, yeah, they got the big like, rock. You know yeah. what? You're in the rock now. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. and, right. and it's making big rocks into little rocks. San there. Quentin, right over the top of it. Well, Manson was in San Quentin. He got sent to Susie death. Q. He, exactly. Cell, thir row, was cell it? thirteen, death row. And uh, I was walking out of the place, and um, um, and there's a piece of the, that little stone was chipped off on the ground. So I asked the guy, "Hey, can I have that?" I don't give a shit. It's just a rock. Yeah. So I got the rock, and now it's it's. Uh, now part of a, you know, Your one, of those, collection. one of those things that you take with you. It's the San Quentin because Manson was in San Quentin, so of course I got Manson to sign the card. Put and, it up here. Let me see it in so there. Cool. Hold it to Take. there. So, can you guys see that at home? I don't know where the camera there, I can't it is. there it is. So, um, what is it? So it's an autograph. Well, that on the top as well. You got a piece of the rock. I got a piece of the rock, man. I got nice. a piece of sand. Cool. But th that's just and a what's that small called? example of the things that you know. That's something that I asked the cop. There, hey, can I have this? He says, sure, take it. But I didn't go fucking with a hammer and a chisel and chip it off. Okay. So you know that's what. So I'm you're saying, saying you're not liking that? You don't like when people go to the spot? No, and, no, no, no. And not get, at all. get down for theirs and. Uh, that's a little bit different because I'm exact a little opposite. I mean, if, if, <laughs> because hey, if you okay. you've been to Devil's Vagina and you've seen all that graffiti there, now that's the only place that they have that there. They don't. Right, like, right, that's right. not at the cave and it's not at the other Actually, place. Actually, that's a different thing. That's more art to me. That Devil's Vagina. <laughs> well, that shit's that's kind a, of it's art. a lot of 420 vagina stuff and a lot of pot smoking stuff up there. That's but that's. You don't see that at the cave, and if I were to see that at the cave, then I'd be very upset. Yeah, of you know? course. And whoever's having that fire down there, I don't know who's doing that. That's Someone not was us. living down there. But somebody I think, was living we were down there. there too. Yeah, hey, there we are at the vagina right there. 
That's right. Us. You see, look at all that yeah. graffiti. That's what I'm talking about. That's only the place you're going to really see it. But or, that makes it Or the that train tunnels special, when you go into Chatsworth. That was on our cigar tunnels. break right there. There it is, do. right there. Yeah. That you won't see that at the cave. That's, that's you even got the Star of David in there, so it's it's it's, yeah, it's uh, yeah, all, all the, things it's are represented uh, down there. It's, it's, it's yeah. The black Israelites over there that's came it. down. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was digging out that truck, I came across a lot of different artifacts. Man, okay, that yeah, were, and you were, should have those. I, I think. Listen, I, I'm hearing what he's saying, and I, I think we're explaining it a little different. He's going down there. He's digging through the sh the stuff. He should be able to take whatever he finds in the earth. That's there because it's Simmons left it behind, and you guys got a nice little collection. But what you're saying is be respectful about it. Don't just come smash and grab because you're you're putting it up on the the YouTube. So in a sense, people might think, oh man, he, he left that. He maybe he doesn't want it. Maybe they think they're you know. But tell me what you're thinking. I mean, you know, like I'm just no, trying to man, get to the I, science because I see you have a nice little collection. Yeah. I see some of the stuff, and I'm thinking. It I'm took, gonna have to it, go down there and get me a piece of something. You there, know? there is stuff like I'm missing out down, down, down there. It took me three years. It took it took us not just me because I have a lot of people that help me find this. Sh it took us about three years to find the van that um, Gary Hinman was missing. I put it on film. Two weeks later, the bumper's missing off of the thing. Yeah, of I course. could have very well taken the bumper myself. I'm, hey, you know, know, I, I, started to I could have booked that into evidence, but I did it, man. That's I did it, it for you. And you know? I'm starting to think you might want to go first, man. If you're <laughs> you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying, <laughs> but the expectations you have are high, my friend. Because know, if you're finding these things and you're doing the homework, the Blue Jay way, the, the, the Beatles one up on Sunset, it happens everywhere. The Joey Ramone one, or the, no, no, the, uh, what do you call it, Ramone? Uh, Johnny Ramone one gets stolen yes. in New York all the time. They had to put it up like 40 feet. Yeah, Jim Morrison. Yeah, Awesome. Growing up, you, know you never thing? did none of that stuff. I mean, I know I'm no. 45, but I ain't too old to I, take, I, my, you know, get mines. When they, when, when they, when people that do steal things and then they put them on a pedestal for doing it, like that head that was stolen of the Jim what, Morrison's uh, bust, or the head that they stole off the Beatles that was Paul McCartney's head that they yeah, cut off that, that side guy in the valley right now. He's like a. They prop him up oh, for that, man. They should man. actually take that damn thing back. I think you know what? I think you should start getting down for yours, bro. Let's get that van, bro. <laughs> let's get, let's I start getting a Scooby Doo van. I don't want to do any jail time he, for this crap. No, so, you're not going to do no jail time for, no, you know. Oh, no, he will. Not for getting a little head. You oh, know, he yeah. will. <laughs> yeah. Daughter, let me ask you because I see you're down there. Do you got a, do you got a, uh, I know Allison's big fantasy is to get some uh, night vision, but do you have any tools to besides, like, you know, the, the your your central garden tools? Do you have a metal detector down there? No, or are you looking for. Uh, no, I've never done any metal detector. I've just taken a simple shovel and just gone down there and just dug. Because I'll and go halves with you on the metal detector, man. Yeah. I know we can find something proper. If, if people who know the story in 71, I think it was, or in 70, the ranch burned down, and all they did was just bulldoze or everything over the side. So oh, everything that. is just over the side, over the ravine. So if you, when we found the truck, every there's not there's a lot more there than just the truck. There's a couple trucks. There's there's just stuff. There's artifacts. So everything I've seen you dug out. I don't have yeah. photos. Do you have a photo of, of of the truck? There's there's a picture of him smoking the good ones and. Uh, <laughs> He's sitting on a truck. If you guys Saigon can find Sims. that, yeah, he's 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 got the Bob Marley cigarette going, and uh, yeah, yeah. So that's a 1930 what? It's a 1929 Ford truck, from what people have told us. And actually, this is even before I started really digging it out. Now you can you can see it. It's just a frame and those two wheels, and it's, they've right, been let there. Let me stop you there because I cut my hand on coming up on that that wire. Uh -huh. But the thing is, <laughs> that wire and I saw is wicked. It, yeah, man. and I oh. saw it, and I thought, wow, there's a truck here. I cannot believe it's a it's a chassis actually from right, an old. Right. It looks like they probably had like a some kind of like carnival type like you know metal show thing on it once you get it fully excavated where's it going like where are you parking that because you've already thought about this you're like where can i put this in chatsworth where <laughs> i can pull it out how can i pull it and you're looking at me like with daggers like don't give me any ideas because <laughs> you got eyes on that truck he's got room in his yeah he's thinking how can i get that for that? fun man i just did that for fun if, if anything i would go down to dune buggy graveyard and grab that v-dub that's down there that i think uh mary brewer <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. that, would, yeah. that, that's a lot easier to grab but this Look, this frame's not going anywhere you're man. all tore up over huh because you're like it's your it's your like it's that's your Thing. Secret spot. Yeah. We're talking about yeah, like yeah, just yeah. grave There's robbing, and blasphemy. we're digging up things looking for rings. Yeah, you are. You know, much robbing but, corpses. All right, Not well. as many people go down there as you think. I think everybody's thinking, oh, hundreds of people are going down there. That's no, not true. No, I, I go that. down there a lot, and I've noticed that I could put I put pictures down there. I put signs down there just to see if people go down there, and they've been down there for two, three weeks, even a month, and no one's gone down there, man. I mean, really, a lot of people are freaked out by that area, and they won't go by themselves. Or, you know, they don't know, you know, I get yeah. a lot of people calling me up, hey, can you take me down there? I won't go by myself, even though I will tell them how to get down there now. Yeah, they don't, they don't want to do it. I don't blame them but for that. But not you know? that many people go down there. As people John think, Z's I think right down the there time, now pulling shit. No doubt. He's and this on is the line. Speaking of John Z, can you put the John Z call through? John, my man, you there, buddy? You're live on the air. John Z, what Yo, up? what's up, fellas? How are you? We're good, we're good. You got a question for, for, for our guests? 
Yeah, two-part question. A um, couple different interviews back in the day. Manson mentioned uh, a biker gang, Straight Satans, out of Venice, California. Whatever happened to those guys, and how come in any of the books no one from that gang was actually quoted? I mean, you really didn't hear that side of it. Right. Good question. Um, Manson likes throwing his name out there for everything. I don't think Manson was ever a member of Straight Satans. Straight Satans did hang out over at Spawn Ranch, and... Manson did recruit um, a guy by the name of Danny DiCarlo who was really good with guns. And he was the guy that took all the guns to the ranch. When, when you see all these pictures with all these guns in the ranch, they yeah, came from like the straight Satans. Stuff. They all And so the Satans were over there, and there was a lot of drugs going on throughout. That's probably the reason a lot of people got killed in that thing, in that whole Helder Skelter shit. And so the, Satan, the Satans were involved, and they did spend time at the ranch. And if you go to the ranch and you're looking directly at the rocks, if you look over to the left, there's a flat spot over there. That's the, that's the area where the bikers would stay, and they called that the biker camp. So nice. the Straight Satans did have, a, they did have a play in it. But just like the Aryan Brotherhood in, in prison, they don't want nothing to do with Manson. Right, He's right. like, eh. And now, right. was it, and now where are the Straight Satans now? Because I've wondered I think the same thing. That's to, a great to, to the Hells Angels. They patched over yeah. to Hells, Hells Angels now. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And John, what else you got? One, give, give us one more. Compound questions. You know, um, as far as like Manson memorabilia goes, there's, a, there's a, a tarantula that Manson made that was actually made out of thread from, uh, from clothing, which is, you know, a, a highly coveted piece. Who's got that piece, and, and how much is that something like that worth? Um, actually, Ashley and Time Manson, um, he's been making, he, he started out uh, with, he, nuns used to make dolls and hand them out, and he picked up on that, so he started making his own little sort of dolls, and the first one he ever gave was to a nun. And so he would, he would make these little dolls out of his socks, he would tear the threads out of his socks, and, and weave them together in these really fancy looking dolls with swords and some of them would have fire coming out of their hair and shit. Then he started into scorpions. You make scorpions out of his socks. He also makes spiders. So there's a lot of them out there. And I just showed Stoner one. You can go see it down at the Hollywood Museum. It's called the Museum of Death. It's right up on Hollywood Boulevard. They have yeah. two of them that Manson actually yeah, gave me. Tremendous. This is John, I hear the music, which means we're going to go to break. I know you're going to come out here maybe er, uh, late January, so we got to all do a February. Uh, so we all got to do a little like uh, little Super Bowl party. Yeah, we, we're going to do yeah, we'll do Absolutely. Super Bowl party at Spawn Ranch. We're going to do a live Spawn Ranch Super Bowl party. Yeah, there we go. Is going to be the house band. For there it, it is, no? my right. friend. Listen, we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back with the Manson Christmas special only on T Radio V. The guy from Faith No More. Right there. That's nice. Mike Listen, Patton. these are long. These are way longer videos, but we just. I, I want to talk to you so much that I just got. We got to. We got to phase these out a little bit. I mean, you brought the. You brought the. The Boy, permanent John collection. Cash. You, you brought the whole shit You opened up the dossier. Got, I mean, you got photos, you got letters. What are these? Right these are from the Manson family to you for your birthday, this for one. Christmas. Christmas cards, man. Christmas you never cards. got Christmas cards from the Manson family? No. no. Shit, my whole mantle had Manson family, all of them, like Lynette Fromm, Susan Adkins, Charles Manson, Bruce Davis, Tex yeah. Watson. We only celebrate St. Patrick's this, Day. And you look at him, you're does, like, ah, Does, does Charlie uh, send St. Patrick's Day cards out? Hell. I think he's going to have to. Yeah, for us. Gonna have to, you know what I mean? He Put, likes the Irish. money off the books. Yeah. I seen in that video that one guy who went there to videotape him with the who did the Charles Manson superstar. He goes, yeah. He looked at him. He goes, you're kin. I like you. You Irish. And I taped that. And I, it. I was gonna put it in something. I was all happy. I don't know why that makes me oh, happy. Oh man, that's great. It's like when I hear bagpipes, I want to fight. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, I know what's going on with that, but hey, we were joking before about uh, Stoner on the break. Stoner getting close to Mike, but uh, I was reading that Rolling Stone article, and then Charlie was talking about, um, you know, the whole homosexual uh, thing, which I never really read about. Um, you, what's what's the background on that? He was talking about, hey guys, girls, it doesn't matter. So whatever makes you come. Cover the homosexual this things. Party. But uh, <laughs> no, he's bisexual. I mean, look, the man's been in prison for almost his whole life. How could he have not had sex with a man? I mean, this is news people, to me, man. No, yeah, yeah, I, I never saw anything about look, open I never thought that. about that. Seventy-nine years old, and he's probably spent what fifty years of those life in his jail. I mean, in, in prison. So it's like, and then a lot of people have a problem with this topic. You bring up the truth about someone, like, oh, how could you say that's blasphemy? It's like, look, man, we're just telling the truth. Yeah, it's like, look, that's it doesn't bother me. Whatever you Listen, whatever, send that there out. There you go, right there. Send whatever it is. We bequeath is. that to uh, Manson. We're going to uh, sign that. Yeah. That's from the Who's Delta Who's is Bravo. that? That's Dave Navarro's uh, gift to the world. 
You're horrible. That's he's, all, he's all, he, yeah, he's like, oh, just, I yeah. got next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's straight out of Spinal Tap right yeah, there. Yeah, man. You know. You know. Here, put this on. But, uh, it's very yeah. distracting. So, yeah, hey, we got this. We got this. Show show this photo. You guys have that in your files, actually. Throw that up on the, up this on, one, this on one. the, the master. Yeah, I know. He's got it over here. He's going to throw that. Throw that file that we already sent you over to, you know, that's the real deal. See, I like this hey, photo. This you, photo to me, hold on, the know, one that we're showing on the screen. That says the 80s. I love that this one. This one's he's great. Limitating. This is like yeah. when you go to Kmart and you get your Christmas photo taken. But <laughs> this is like missing the Christmas tree. You guys match the shirts out. The hair is fabulous in this. Like the other one look was really. Price, look at Manson. Yeah, I mean, priceless. he looks like, you know. He, he was how did you meet again? Remind yeah. me how you met again. Um, collecting autographs is the reason I started writing him. And then after that, he just you invited me. off. Right, so. Back to so. It's, whoa, sorry. Did you? Hey, did you, <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, ten bucks in the camp. I know. One. You know what? Did and you know I, I was going to put a gay drive? joke on you because you, you, you know. I did a tour drive one year for Manson, and donated five hundred dollars worth of toys to Toys for Tots for right. Charlie, and he paid for them all. Did you know that? No, I no. didn't know. That's why we're here. Well, give us some more gems like that. I mean, That's you got amazing. whose That's glasses do you got? Show me what you got going over there. You got. Mrs. Plus, he made a comic book out of it. Of. He had a guy in prison make a comic book telling about the whole thing of us. It, he made the story up here. It was a kind of a fake story, Whoa. just a comic book. But he actually right. did invest 500 bucks for toys. It was around. It was right after 9/11. You remember after 9/11, people were like, "Oh, go back to the malls. Don't let terrorists yeah. Yeah, go shopping." Push. You know, that, that sort of. Shit. And uh, well, I'll, it was right around Christmas time, and there was no toys in some of these barrels. Well. There's over at the cemetery, they collect for Toys for Tots, the same place that George Spawn's buried at. Well, I've seen that, and I'm like, fuck, there ain't no toys in this. That's terrible. And I, um, I, Manson had told me a story before where he's like, he was pissed because somebody else wanted him to do that, and he right. donated all kinds of shit. Like that guy said on the phone, he, a right. uh, spider, he donated a spider to these people. He wrote out a lot of autographs for them and sent it all to them, thinking that he was going to make some money for toys for kids. And, and when they got, they wrote him back and told him, fuck and this stuff. You're Charles Manson. You're a creep. But they never sent his stuff back. Of course. You know? Yeah. And I just Dick Allison's going to donate some Dick chillos Luke. after this in uh, yeah. Atwa's yeah. name. <laughs> yeah. She's all about the and, green and speaking, piece thing. I'm glad you right. said that because I, I, I get so overwhelmed and you're showing all these like precious, you know, like this new collection is like heavy duty. But what is Atwa? Because a lot of, I see it and then I know there's a lot of controversy with like, there's, I, I, what I'm getting and in case you, you guys don't know, know what, there's what, a lot of subsects of like Manson followers and like some Prince don't Bloods. get along with the others and everybody's pointing the fingers in different directions and do you know what uh, you, you air, want my tree, opinion of what it is air. or what someone yeah. else's opinion no, I need well, to have we want yeah. yours my opinion of what it is is i'm kind of jaded when it comes to that because manson sat there and told me and i don't really want to tell you what he said but it's it's a ploy to attract people but what is it it's an acronym for air it means air trees water and animals and it attracts young chicks who have Cats and puppies who sit around their house with <laughs> no <laughs> who they get attracted to Manson. He sucks them in. It's like he's. I'm not saying he's not genuine no, with no, love course, and shit like that, but to me, it's a ploy. It's just it's a, a hustle. Ploy. It's a hustle. Yeah, yeah. It's a con. Right. He's a confidence. Just like man. Al Gore. Yeah. And it works That's really well. It works it sure fabulously does. well. And by me saying this, there's going to be all kinds of. <laughs> Oh, they, they, they just blog is going to blow up. We'll hey, I just yeah. got, uh, up. Our I just blog is going to be blowing up. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah, that's man. what you want. You keep it 100. I mean, that's why you're here, and that's why I like you What's because I find you a bit genuine, dude, and you're not like what, what chick towing you? the towing the you know the status quo of you know. If we were boyfriend and girlfriend, say we were boyfriend and girlfriend. I thought you were. a witch. You were, you're crushing you hard over here, man. You got to wear the witch hat. Right. You know, like you know. That's good. Don't look in the eyes. You get woo. Gypsy, please. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make me lose my train of thought, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? If, if, Case closed. If we were, I'm gonna, I'm asking her a question. If we were gonna get married, and I, and and you came out in a magazine and said, and said, um, and yeah, said, <laughs> and said, and, and said we're getting married, and I, and I'm so happy that, I, and then I came out in the magazine and said she's full of, it's just a joke. How long would you stay around me? I would You'd cry me out and. Rocks. But well, now, why now Manson's star chick, fucker. star fucker, right after him again. Her. It's like yeah. that's what he does. So for that's those not people. real. They're not. He's not getting married. No. She might think so. 
Uh, honestly, I've been seeing her photo honest and that guy, what's his name, Wolf? Is that the dad Grable, or are they Grable. all married? Uh, I thought they <laughs> like, well, they look like they're like to back up a little. inbred. It does right look like the themselves. dad or the brother. Gray Wolf yeah, I think is one like, of the associates, right? One of the, right. Gray Wolf is he the one who snuck the honest phone Honest to God, I think she really is. I think she's really serious. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I think she's really serious. You're not serious. bashing she's, her. You're just she's a young girl. Her head's in the right spot as far as like her love for him, but he's running a hustle. She's got a crush on the guy and he's running a hustle on Like you to Allison, same We've all fallen for that one. <laughs> like you to Allison, same kind of thing going on. Same thing. Lots of <laughs> I mean, no, Charlie's a pimp, basically. But she's, I mean, Charlie's a pimp, a gangster uh, criminal. He's I mean, the that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's going yeah, to Rolling Stone talking yes. about all these other girls. Like Susan Atkins was a easily, slut yes. and all this. Yeah. But actually, Manson was the one pimping her ass out. Right. So if Manson got out of jail, do you think they would have a baby and live happily? No, no. I think she would be on the corner making Manson some cash. Right, right, right. Because that's just what I would expect from Manson. That's, that's what it. attracted me to the guy. How does Grey Wolf come in? Grey Wolf, I've actually known that guy for way before he's... Now, for I those that don't know, Grey Wolf's the guy that got pinched uh, not too long ago, bringing in a cell, uh, cell phone into Corcoran, into Prison, Charlie's yeah. house. Yeah. And he gave you a call on that piece, no? Or did you get a call? <laughs> he reversed the charges. <laughs> <laughs> actually, was, actually, Manson has called me on a cell phone before, but not that particular one, because that one got caught. But Manson has, he's had cell phones throughout. It's not hard. Manson's yeah. had lots of things. He's got the jail. StarTech going, I heard. Manson actually had an acid party at Christmas time one time get in the out. shoe. So With Stoner's Sirhan, like he's Sirhan. trying to catch a new case. He wants to go back. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, he wants to go back and celebrate. No, no I've been to Corcoran myself. I heard, and I, I've done time saying. there. I was in the yard actually next to Charlie Manson. No, nice. Yeah, so and my, you, my you own were throwing kites that way. And actually, I'd just stand on the yard and just stare Bruno. at that yard. And <laughs> yeah. right. my own thought I were weird. You didn't invite but, him to the, the Bruno or nothing? No, no, no. no. Make him no chinate. You were asking about them. They were Manson's. He gave them to me when I was at Corcoran. He gave me several pairs of glasses. If I try them on, ain't nothing gonna go for it. No, okay. He, I don't know. You never know, man. This one. That's okay. actually that's actually how you get them out of the place. You hand them to you, and then you oh, wear them out. That's a great picture like, right there. Perfect. Like you, like you <laughs> get it? You didn't even you, use the yeah. hydro lens. Yo, yo, I can't OD on that, yeah, uh, Dante, that, man. Yo, don't, don't. Yo. <laughs> hey, your IQ just went up 40 points on that <laughs> one. Yo, you look good. The, yeah, but you need the eye pro lens. I mean, I'm <laughs> starting to see, like, double vision. Man. Look at I mean, that. All kinds of good stuff's going on. I'm getting to try and glasses. Stoner's got a crush going on. When, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, did, did you know Christmas this, spirit. that um, Charlie also met Dina Martin? That's Dean Martin's daughter. Right. And when he met her, he gave her a ring to join the Manson family. And Manson pretty much gives everybody a ring. I have one, too. Here's a nice. ring. You want to wear it? I thought that was that mine. That is hers. <laughs> that is mine. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let, let, you want to try them on? Come on, man! You only live hey, once, bro. About? Yeah. It has his initials Can we on move it. Move that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't mean to turn you on. I, 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 I didn't mean to turn you on, bro. Yeah, Flashbacks. Flash exactly, man. <laughs> That's what I like it about started looking like a bong after a while, huh? You're thinking, man, I don't want to get caught up. <laughs> You'd be like, Whoa. Your homies from Corcoran, and yeah. like to hear about that. It's like three D glasses. <laughs> look, look. I'm seeing in three D. They'd hey, probably be fine. Hey, hey, anyway, Shotty, come in here. You gotta come you. in for a second. Shotty, it's, it's okay totally to walk into the broadcast. Bring that camera. No, no, bring the camera. We gotta. We, we want to take photos of this guy with the hey, with the Manson the glasses. glasses. I need the. Uh, this is my Wait, sunglasses. Really good on you. Yeah, you gotta hold your this chin. That's how I do it. And the ring. Yeah. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna get to see Dottie real quick. Shotty. Shotty, Dottie. We came to potty. See, I'm always messing it up. Names are I'm no good with. Shotty, don't blame me. Well, we can Too much. Uh, you. Take a picture of Nako real quick okay. with the glasses, and we're there. We go. Don't break them now. Look over there, and we got a yeah. ring as well. So this ring was going to the it Dean Martins. No, no, but I'm saying. Mine. No, he actually he actually Thank gave you. Dina Martin a ring. Who's better than you? To join the man. I love your work. Don't ever change. Has the ring. <laughs> That's really cool. But he gives he gives so he what, gives all. Just ask him for it; he'll give it to you. So tell him I want some. Uh, well, you're good buddies. You know, I want something. Well, can I get it? Can you give me an autograph? I got all kinds of. Shit you got. I'll get you an autograph. Seriously, I'll from give, Danny Boy, though. I'll give you one. I'll I don't know it. about that. Ah! Oh! Hey, it's from Michael, and I've known him for 20 years. You got him. Yo, oh, oh, he got that yeah. boot. Yo, now, these are real. Wait, hold on. What if I give him a weekend pass? <laughs> what do I do for a weekend pass? <laughs> hey, that's a sheriff thing. You gotta call uh, Sean. Try to give you a blowjob, man. It ain't for you. You're a little out of line. Hey, yeah. hey you're Shout a little out, to out of line, Sean. Hey, just a little bit. My guy, Sean, he can maybe make it happen. But you, hey, this is not your lane, my Jimmy friend. Jimmy from Worcester. All right, listen, the boots. So we got boots, boots here. Can you guys see these like boots? Size nines. Size nine. Yeah, Manson nine. actually. Kickers. Manson actually has to get things given to him. Wow, he, he, look at this. You guys, you put that in there. You put his name. Come on, man. Where? Put your hand on the Biz Bible. Right there. What does it say? Charles Manson. He's like, where? No if you wrote on the Mickey Mantle bat, you wrote that in there, too. 
<laughs> but I believe this is the genital. Hey, I believe no, this is. No, there is actually an autograph on these things, but you can't see them. It's so it, the. He didn't. But have that's the genuine. So these are his boots. Yeah, I got his. And how'd you how'd you get those out? He has to when he goes into the hole. He has to send all his possessions to somebody. So he sends. Shit. He loses the everything. Whole box. He loses everything. Comes right. yeah. in the mail. Yeah, I got, I got, man, it's a shirt, man. Oh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, let's take We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We got the Charles Manson Christmas special with the fashion Manson. Fashion show. The fashion show. I mean, it's the show. whole night. He's going to run the <laughs> runway in a minute. Love Be it. right back to Radio V, the Delta Bravo show. Boom. You know, if I wanted to kill somebody, I'd take this book and beat you to death with it, and I wouldn't feel a thing. It'd be just like walking to the drugstore. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves go bob for Frantic? Get Frantic, boots, 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 I don't fit in society and I am incompetent. I'm definitely incompetent. No, that's not what I, I said. Well, I, I say that. I say that. No, there's nothing wrong with being incompetent because you don't have to do as much. Uh, <laughs> if you're competent, then you got a lot to do, see. But there's, 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 a, there's another aspect of it, too. Uh, I've learned to reflect. Look. I just reflect back. Nice. There it is. So I know I don't know. Reflecting I know back. I'm stupid. I admit, I'm a pity. There it is. Yeah, you know you're on. You're like boom. <laughs> I love when you do that. Boom. Okay, so listen, we're back. What sweatshirt do you have right there? The one that he was just wearing. Right I can't there. hear a thing you're saying, my oh, friend. The one that he was just wearing. You gotta suck that one from Daddy tonight, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the. That's the, that's the, yeah, we yeah, need coffee cool. up in here. Look at that. Everybody get oh, your perfect. cups ready. There you go. Oh, there it is. Co a nice fresh pot. There you go. Coffee's nice. for closes. That there one's go. going to, yep, that one's going to Hey, gonna let shit me tell you a story. Sure. Let me tell you a story since you brought <laughs> Hold this on coffee. before we, before the coffee, let's talk to that. Take because it. this is Manson's sweatshirt from that video that we just watched right there. Right. What year was that video filmed? Oh. See. That was the Geraldo deal, wasn't it? No, that was, that was, I think that was a lady by the name of Heidi Schulman. Why, she's all, sh it's in the house. <laughs> it smells like, like Paul Malls. Like I know you've been wearing that piece. <laughs> like sweat and <laughs> cigarettes. He yeah. sleeps in it. Yeah, right? That's his underwear right there. I've never this tried is, it Okay, on. so there it is. Uh, that's the genuine article. Yeah. All right. Yes. Not close. I, touch, hey. touch, touch it. You know you want to. Oh, I already did. <laughs> I use it as a spanker shift. Oh, oh, man. I hope his missus don't watch. Hey, real, hey, hey, real quick. We got, call from Al, we got a call from We got a real call. We got a call from Worcester. Someone just told me. Yeah, you've been knowing about right this whole here. thing. Act like an all surprise. Go Worcester? ahead, it's your boy. Worcester, Worcester Ohio. Worcester, Worcester Mass. Worcester, Go ahead. Ohio. Are you there, Tim? Jim. Who is Get it, James? In. Tim, who is it? James. It's, it's Tim from Boston. Tim. It's Tim. Exactly. That's what oh, I said. Oh, Jesus. What's up, Tim? What's up, mate? Hit us up real quick uh, with a come question. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. I got a quick question. <laughs> I hear you, bro. <laughs> you know, this, the, the, whole, the whole Manson thing, this is not my wheelhouse, but being a fan of the show... I, you know, through, uh, through the Facebook page, I started checking out some of the Manson stuff, and I came across something that I had never seen before, never heard before, and, uh, you know, the last name True is not something you come across too often, but I was wondering, who is this dude, Harold oh, True, mm -hmm. and uh, what do you know about him? Take Harold, us to school, Mike. Harold True. He lived by, beside La Biancas, and the La Biancas are the second... Um, family of people that got murdered by the family. Right. And they used to party at the True House. And if you've ever visited the location, it's another thing you guys need to go, man. We've you done. Know. Okay, then you Come see on. the house right beside the La Bianca house, there's only a of little... Of course, there's a gate, and that one goes up, and his is... And back then, there never used to be a gate. And Manson used to party at the True House with the rest of the family. Right. And they used to go over to the La Bianca house and whatever they're like i said in the video screw women i guess yeah barbecues smoke weed because the house was empty right so then the house became occupied by the la biancas later on and that's but harold true um all i know about him is they did a lot of partying at the house and it's a house that's located right beside the la bianca so house. tim that that's your last name and and you know we know you used to like to do a lot of partying too so you might probably be related <laughs> <laughs> And I know you're doing the good thing now, like me, me and you. I, if, if you knew me back then, my last name would be True, because I'm with you, my friend. But, uh, you know, 
<laughs> Other than that, I mean, so that's basically, you, you know, that, he that, just... You, he's you talk a, to Harold True, and he does not like associated with... A lot of people don't back then. They just, they shy away from that man. So shy, I don't know to do with that guy. Right, right, right. Him, you know? yeah, but yeah. that is, we all know that that's where he went to party originally, he, and that's he, where he got he, the he, idea. He partied there. Okay, cool. And, 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 they used to, and they used to hang out at the empty La Bianca house, which is right beside there, and... Who knows how that? Right, right, right. There's, there's a radio show on Facebook called Tate LaBianca Radio. If you go to their Facebook page, they interviewed Howard uh, Harold Drew, and there's a. There you go. It's, a, it's yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where I first it's, heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, nice. That's actually a pretty good interview, even though Harold sounds really drunk. But it's uh, like I said, Tim. <laughs> I, that you know what I mean. <laughs> True blue, Tim. That's what? it. Oh. Hey, Tim, those stickers are coming. Uh, they're going to be there in a couple of weeks. I'm going to send them out. Thank you for calling. A couple of weeks? Are you sending them out? Uh, That's Jesus it. Snail mail. If you need something, you call me, Tim, all right? She's on yeah, here tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to call you from now on. All right, kid. Knock on you out of the van. It's 55512. 555212. Good talking to you, man. Happy holidays, my friend. All right, guys. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Thanks, Merry bro. Christmas. Cheers. All right, so, Michael, you talked about uh, bringing coffee onto the scene here. Yeah. yeah what do we got, we got here? You got Tell your us. coffee? Did you try the mint? Some things is terrible. It's oh, not good. Right? Yeah. So that ain't on, mint. Let's get the coffee thing what out of the way because I know you got that, and you I want to see that album. I know you, you've been pushing an album. Let's see the album while we're getting the coffee ready. I got coffee. You got coffee. You got coffee? This is it for me. Right. I'm drinking straight from the trough. You go get, hey, go get that cream out of there, man. No. We're going to do a toast. All right, so All right. what do you guys got there? A you Christmas got toast. We have, yeah, this is um, Charles Manson's new album that just came out, Lost Back of Real Tapes, put out by a, uh, actually a friend of ours. Right. Um, what's Ben's last name? I actually don't know his last name. It's Ben. Ben. Sorry, right, we'll put it. I'll post it because I see yeah, you yeah. post it and you get really. But ben, actually, a friend of ours, uh, produced this and put this out just recently. This and um, every time it's when there. you get one of these albums, you get a gift that comes with it. And on this particular it's album, I was received a uh, card that used to be in Manson's uh, guitar case. So it was right. a personal car. This one's from Canada. I actually have another. Uh, I actually have a piece of his underwear, which came yeah, with, you do. with some, which actually came with somebody else's. Our friend Sherry. It came with her album. She didn't want it. She mailed it to me, and I actually have a piece of his underwear. Depending on, you know, what numbered album you get, you get it, you can get anything from a guitar string to a poem to. And how do we know this is all real stuff? That's just the real deal. That it's just not like you know. It's not like John Z. Like just the, well, it's kind of like well, the, it's the, the same thing. Like when I met Michael, I didn't know when I first met Mike. I wasn't sure if he was telling me the truth. You know, of all these stuff about the man sites. I mean, it wasn't until I just That's got Charles. to know him and met him. And, Come on, let me you know, have that, I, man. <laughs> no, let me get busy, get man. That. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a meatloaf song. You can have anything you want, but you can't have that, huh? Stoner. But with line the one, wow. here we are. Where you at, mate? I'm Focus. right here. <laughs> now, you sure you don't want this? Okay, come on. Like, we were so just talking about, album, you know, he said it's okay to take stuff from the thing, but you don't like downloading of that, right? No, no, I've never done anything. I still, I have had this album I out still for a while. I have, albums, not, my I have not And when you posted that, I went to go look yeah. for my download for I'm going to steal it, too. Right, so I have you not even sold your own music, I think, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> So I won't do that. And I don't so they do can. That. So you're 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 pushing the record uh, for your peoples. You know, you're trying to get the, or you're just a fan of it. I'm just a fan of it. And I okay. actually help out Ben too. I mean, but that's what I, I'm saying. I you're trying to give them some shine yeah, right can, now. So yeah. Yeah. where can they find that? It's the Lost you Backerville can, tape. You if they can Google find that. This I'm sure on, it comes uh, up. Was it Prime Minister of the Underworld, something like that. something like that. Something yeah. fucking this long. Prime. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, got a night tonight. Yes, I do. I don't. There we But tonight, one twenty twenty. Don't give it to Stoner. Yes, I want you to violate your your terms and conditions of probation. But uh, he's he's open up saltaditos or something, man. We're oh, all here I'm gonna plum. tell you I'm gonna tell you a story. I, when I was visiting, oh man, it's going in the coffee. I can yeah, already, I already see told now. him I can't it's, do it. It's going in the coffee, man. Man, hey, when I used to visit Manson, uh, they have they have uh, microwave vending machines, potato chips, burritos, shit like that, right, soda, right. Swedish fish. But they didn't have any coffee. Swedish but they had fish. a coffee pot sitting there, and I told the vending guy came in one day, and I jumped up. Hey man, why don't you got coffee in here? It's not worth our fucking time. There's only one guy in here at a time. It's like, well, shit, man. I drink coffee. Bring coffee back. <laughs> That's it. And I was and I was like, I was really getting offended by that. And Manson came up to him. He fucking put his. He put his. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. it. That's it. God damn Do it. that again. I didn't miss yeah. it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Hey, give me my knife. You're making it. me nervous. I don't want you to shank Allison for not re- being receptive <laughs> he's on gonna air. Be, he's gonna be on doing air. a bullet after this. <laughs> hey. Anyway, All right, I, listen. I, I says, hey, I want some coffee. Why don't you bring coffee back next week? And Manson's like, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Well, the next week I went back to visit. Manson comes out. He's like, hey, look what I got. This coffee. And I still have some of it. So I'll let you guys drink some of it. We're mine. drinking Manson yeah. coffee? Yeah. Right. Actually, hey, right from the cell. She never right asked for a second cell. cup. But now, look at her. <laughs> Check it out. It's right Allie from the cell. Right, man. 
And not, you know what? It's going to re- remind me of 2000. I used to. All over again. I used to sock. I strain it through the sock. That's huh? it. You tune it in, right. turn it out. Naco doesn't have a cup. I used no. to. I had to get Whoa. a fish line to get this, this coffee. This nice. is crazy awesome. Nice. There I used is. to drink. I used to take Cheers cookies out of that place. Ha! <laughs> I used to. Yeah, just well, well, go slow. Well, well, well. He's drinking his coffee with You're going to eBay it. All right, let's uh, let's cheers this up. Cheers. Did you get a piece? Did you get some of the potion? No. Look at man, he didn't even do it. Oh, right. he doesn't want oh, to do it for himself. Oh, here, pour it out of the just, big one. Just All put right. it in here. So we're getting we're that's getting good. a we're oh, getting a uh, don't spill it on man, the man. That's thick. Uh, some real navy. Oh coffee. man, it's gonna be like uh, oh, 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 of course. Leave it up to this guy. Charlie wouldn't mind. That's it. Can I get a cheers from you or no? Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to spill it all over the photos now? Get out of yeah. here. Hey, that's Merry Christmas. Right, Merry that's Christmas, Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. You know? All right, so let, that's good. I've never... Anyway, to get back to what I Don't used worry, to take... Don't uh, worry, Shani. We're going to save you a cup. I know that's right up your wheelhouse as well. That's it. What I used yeah. to do it's when like I was a... there... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do some We've CPR and D real quick. Regular yeah. How we showed you in the woods. Coffee. When I was there, <laughs> when I was there, I would take half the food that he would eat, and and I would take it home with me. Like we had, he had nutter butter cookies one day. <laughs> I bet <laughs> he did. You boof him? He <laughs> ate two of them, and I took them home. You and can he find it. it. You can find the fuckers on sale on the internet now for like a thousand dollars for the two cookies. So you guys are drinking about. Four hundred dollars worth of coffee. Yeah, right now. you're now <laughs> down with the discount. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many soups right, that is. So listen, nobody spilled on coffee. Yeah. What else do you have? Because I know time is of the essence. You've got photos. You've got autographs. Wow. How many autographs do you think you own in your collection? Uh, not as many let's, as I used to. Hey, let's to. move that album back because I want to get more visual of uh, what you. What else you guys have got? Hey, is that, is next, that already a next break? segment? Yeah. We can eat Manson's wow. soup. What? <laughs> oh, Manson's man, it's going noodles. down. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to eat. Well, we made the soup on the break, but we'll be back in a minute. This is awesome. It's the Manson Christmas special on T-Radio V, Delta Bravo team. We're in the building, y'all. Oh, this was good coffee. We had it in the business family. Too. Coffee's for clothes. Come on in, Remember? shout it. And Young, so I'm so like uh, coffee wasted all. right now, dude. You got lifted. strong. It's strong. <laughs> I got <laughs> very strong. I'm saving the rest yeah. for New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm nice right now. I think hey. the only one that could drive right now is uh, Shadi. Shadi, yeah. Hi, Shadi. Say hi. Hello there. Let me see. Are you on camera? You are on camera. Hi. People don't know, but you you got a, you got your thing too. You do a uh, you do photography and you like to do the crime scene stuff. Yes. What That's do you do right. for a living? I'm a crime scene, crime scene investigator. You are. In the CSI? Los Angeles area. Something like that, yeah. It's just scary? Oh, sorry. No. I'm scared of that kind of stuff. i got to be honest. So am I. I think I'm used to I'm it. I'm a big guy who doesn't like That's that why I'm stuff. Here. I know. <laughs> and that is why you're here. We had yes. you to come. It was, an awesome, it was an awesome treat for uh, James to bring you out and uh, have you come and, uh, you know, do the, the photography. And uh, what do you think so far? He's brought the whole, I mean. I'm in awe. I, I mean, you I even got to. It, this was going to be you here. even got to bring the. You even got to drink some of the coffee too. Some of Charlie's coffee. Tastes like bacon. Are uh, we going to take a pass on the? It tastes <laughs> like bacon. Yes. Wow. Okay. Tastes we're going like to take. A, we're going to take a pass <laughs> on the noodles because we don't have time. But he's got the sweatshirt. He's got the boots. He's got the bandana. A million birthday cards. I mean, you think you, these? I mean, look at all these letters. We got dude. mail from Manson family members. I just got a letter yesterday from Bruce Davis. He killed Jordy Shea at Spawn Ranch. I just got a letter from him yesterday. Bummy Davis. Yeah, yeah right there. This is from him just yesterday. Yesterday. Hey, I got some oh. more clothes from the family. I know, and to get the witch's hat, you got to wear the witch's okay. hat real quick, uh, Shadi. It's, oh. it's mandatory. Yes. I'll get it. Out Absolutely. There, yeah. Uh-oh. What else you got? You got a vest? This is like a coronation right oh, here. Oh, this is great. This is actually my favorite thing that Mike has right here. And uh, whose is that? Uh, TJ's. Thank you. TJ who? Uh, TJ oh, Wallman. So he was one of the Manson family. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Man. Now, let me ask you, are you going to do your own museum? Or are you going to do a Michael Channel's back no, porch no, no, tape? No. This is just strictly for uh This is just like collecting giggles. stamps, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Stamps. Now, look at that. That stamps. is something. Oh, there you go. That is that's hey, you can, awesome. You can actually Did you hear the backstory on that? No, no, I missed that part. Real quick, get it, get it off. There's um, the, one of the girls in the cave, the fifth one down that was in the picture up there. She has actually went back for a reunion with about five other Manson family people. And when they went there, they put a little camp at Spawn Ranch over to the side, over to the left side of that picture right there. And I went back down there and stole it. So and they went back for a reunion and they all wore the hats and did probably a seance or whatever. And now you've got it on now your head. Now you've got so it on your head. Amazing. Hey. God bless. Amen. Go with God. <laughs> yeah. It looks great, though. Yeah, Viacon deals yeah. and all that good stuff. And uh, oh yeah, well, we all wore it, so we're all on the same ship. Okay. Huh? Shadi, where can we see your work uh, with your photography stuff? On Facebook or Instagram at Crime Scene Art. 
And what kind of real quick? What kind of crime scene stuff do you like? Is there pictures of dead people? Or you got uh, no, more no, like I, locations and stuff like that. It's not cool to put personal like, stuff. Yeah, right, right, no, right, nothing right. on duty. And nothing on duty, of course, no. No, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. And what do you think of all this stuff right here? I love it. I'm going to take right? photos with everything after. Okay, so we're going to we're going to we're going to post those photos too. We'll, so we really appreciate you coming down. Yeah, we're going to go see. I'm going to take you see the the Manson Files one day. Oh, we got oh, a book. Now, when I say book a tour, I mean we're going to we're going to you're going to give us a tour one of these days, right? So we can go as a group tour. I can give you a tour of all kinds of. Different He's like, we like go tonight. Gonna, all right, so like tell I, us. Like I was just going to say, if you want to do that for sure, you were talking about a museum. Yeah. We, I just took him over to a friend's, my place. It, it, you've probably the seen death, me on the Death Dealers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a museum over on Hollywood Boulevard, and they have a Manson part in that museum, and he just seen it. He's seen some rare pictures of Leslie Van Houten in there. There's a... Yeah. They, yeah. Somehow they come up missing. You know, it was hard for me to not <laughs> yeah. take a picture. You're not allowed to take pictures in there, and uh, I was just like, is anyone yeah. around? He's like, no, there's cameras, and I'm like, I really want to take some pictures of this. Yeah, they had some stuff in there. It was incredible. That's so, and he's getting all red. Look at him. Yeah, <laughs> that is Lady Gaga. Yeah, I get fired up when we talk about Leslie Van Houten. Yeah, hey, you ain't the only one, bro. <laughs> if you if you want to see my shit, just look on the internet. Everything right. that has Charles Manson's name to it, I pretty much touch. Like them shower shoes you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. They were at my house before they were ever on wherever they are now. And They're, what did you? And so, but you're not selling this stuff. This is for your. I mean, uh, you've had a few things Manson, go. Manson would give me these glass. Here's for say. He would give me these glasses when I was in the visiting room. He really didn't have a lot of young followers like he does now that send him money or right, somebody right. that wants to marry him that gives him a box every week. So to make that money. He'd give me shit like this, and I would sell it on the internet, mm -hmm. and then I would give him freaking money out of it. And yeah, I got to get a spaghetti incident uh, album really? signed by him. That would be good, you know. Right, right, right. Charlie he wants to spit sixteen on his new record too. Oh. Knocko got a record, Yo, so he got wants some demos. He wants a verse. So Honestly, he knows now. He really knows on, and he's really mm -hmm. old, and he really doesn't sign too much. He's been trying to get him to sign shit for him. Hey, how about a thumbprint? Hey, when you talk to them, did he say my name or not? <laughs> no, no, that was. Before. Yeah, it, it is actually really. Hey, we we it is really hard to get we his autograph. Get a thumbprint oh, from Shoddy. When you write That's him, actually, you'll get you'll get one of these letters that I get, and it's actually written Show by. It. Let me see this. Well, well, my name is my real name. Is oh, actually, okay. Well, right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll get it. You'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll actually Doe. get a letter like this that's written by one of Manson's um, friends. His name one is of Feral. his minions. Okay. Yeah, one of his minions. One of his X Men. He's called. Okay. Name's Feral. X Men. Those guys. They call them guys X Men, but that unit that he's in. It's it's the it's a protective housing unit. You know what that unit's for? It's for fucking cons that go in there and turn state's evidence on other people and then go out the other side as another person. It's it's one of those. Wow. And for high profile and, prisoners uh, right. like Sirhan Sirhan that don't get touched. Sirhan up. Sirhan's not even there anymore. He's, no, he's yeah. They sent him out too. Even don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, you ain't snitching. And, <laughs> he's on the hard and, candy and list. So though. basically, he's got a little. Uh, he's got a cottage industry in the in the in that in that. He hates the people that he's actually in there with. I don't know why he calls them X Men now because he used to always call them, you know other things. X Men. Most of them are. It sounds like he's running his own little post office in there. And yeah, and it sounds like he's got I, a few little camps out there doing does. like his bidding. And, he and, tries and, and to keep himself safe is what he does. Uh, and he does I, a good job of it. I just wrote a Manson letter for his birthday and asking him, I'm saying, hey, man, when Farrell signs your name easy, you got to tell him to sign it better because it's, it's just it's not you. We already know it's not so you. So he's got it. a guy just signing and then, off? And then Farrell just wrote me back just a couple weeks ago saying, it is me signing those letters. You know, we're getting your mail. We're getting your pictures. But, yeah, he can't sign everything, you know. And right. plus, I think it also helps you put a little money on his books and yeah, stuff like he, that. We, yeah, it out. Yeah, it gets it, he'll string give it you, along. He'll give, he'll give you you don't want to make it too easy, yeah, who right? Who knows? I mean, I, I couldn't say for sure, but I'm sure it helps. And hey. what else you got in that bag? I see you got American yeah. Spirits. Well, you tell me he doesn't no. smoke. He's telling me he smokes camels at least. No, he smoked American Chest Spirits. Chest breakers. He fucking smoked the most expensive kind of cigarettes. When you're not buying them, you smoke the best. Oh, wow. So he would smoke these Shermans. He's smoking them, smoking, smoking owls. Smoking Shermans. <laughs> He's getting <laughs> wet. Leaky sticks. I didn't know he liked to get wet, that dog. Oh, my gosh. No, when I could go in, I could take this this bag. Yeah. And I could put my driver's license, my car key, and um, fill it up with change, cigarettes, and that's about it. You could put you could put a handkerchief in there, and you could carry a Bible, okay. but that's all you could take in. And so every that week I take it, and I'd come out with other stuff. An autographed Bible that would be dope. Ooh, I had yeah. one. Okay, well, I had one. Release it, <laughs> Shotty. Tell him, to, you know, break loose. You got a Don't bunch of stuff going over here. No, you know, <laughs> what's this? Uh, what do you call those things? I don't know. He's a nickel those. bag. No, he loved those candies. Yeah. What are those? Right. Oh, Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what looked like he sat you on heard it for here a hot first. No, it here first. <laughs> Jolly Ranchers. Oh, all right. So, and how many years are you going back with, with Manson now? And you've been how many times you visited him? 
I visited him like 18, I believe. Wow. That's, um, that's a lot. Did you ever Did you ever think you'd meet a guy who met Manson 18 times? I mean, no. once or twice, maybe, but 18 times. I love these guys. These guys are great. <laughs> they really are. And if you guys are at home and you've missed any of this stuff, we actually have a, a, the, the first interview, which explains a lot of the backstory. Which this, We could do a weekly thing with this every week and talk about this. So you guys have so many different... Live, you know, live remote, maybe it, one day at Spawn Ranch. Think, Who knows? Hey, you think we should do that? We could do that, huh? That would we be should a good idea. cave. Ah, uh, you, look, might, look, you look. might have yeah. to pay him 500 bucks for that. So I what? Hey, great man. Idea. Hey, money ain't a thing, kid. <laughs> <laughs> we'll you, we'll use that Art Carney funny <laughs> money. That's it. You, you know it. what I'm saying? Put yeah, I put the bling bling on him and, and, you know. I got that. We'll be down there in the cave doing, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. He'll be doing man. his funny snaps I'll over bring there. My, uh, my tools, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Listen, I mean, time is of the essence. What else? So you got the bandana. That's Charlie's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how much you're looking he's down for with that? The black and white. How much? I mean, I'm saying he's flagging. What's, Holy cow. How much is how much is something like that go for? If That's prices to you, right? To me, it's, it's always been different to me because probably I've had more access than other people have, so they okay. only get a few things. You know, I've right, freaking right, right. tons of shit. And you've got hair, good. even right? Yeah, his hair. And we oh, can yeah. drug. Can we drug sample this uh, shoddy and find <laughs> yeah, out if there's right any? There. Uh, <laughs> can we take that to the lab and analyze that as the yes. the official article? More now, is that something that you would work with, or you just want? No, I do latent prints. Latent prints. Still have it done. I have right. latent prints at Manson's too from the actual And apparently, arrest. Charlie, I don't know I if you were those. listening, but there's <laughs> there's more than prints that are latent with Charlie, apparently. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Did you hear that bit as well? Because uh -huh. I was, I, I, did, I knew not what, uh, you know, hey, like I said, we've got toolkit for him if he's when he looking was a, for When one. he was a young, when he was actually a young kid, probably 13 years old, he stuck a knife up the kid's throat and sodomized him in there. E -I -E. So that's... Oh. Been, yeah. Yeah. Ouch. It's been all... Z just around. hit the like uh, button that, on that one. Merry Christmas. Merry that's all true. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, you know what? You guys, you know, I, I'm not sure how we're doing on time here, but about, I don't want it to just, minutes, just, to three just minutes. do that dump what it usually does, and I'm shocked, but I want to say this, man. Three you minutes. guys are, you know, I usually don't curse, but you guys are great stand-up dudes man i mean we've had nothing but good yeah. back and forth banter to happy you happy birthday yeah, yeah happy birthday. Merry Christmas hey, and all that stuff you you gave this bullshit speech about your mom says you shouldn't come empty-handed to somebody's birthday my birthday's I in know. three days Yours man is. Shit. i brought the soul pole brother <laughs> you don't want it hey if you don't if i cook it you eat it dog <laughs> no <laughs> I'm regifting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. James' addiction to I House of Pain to put you, that in my dog. Car, man. Yeah, right. You, but you, you're like, good thing I rode my bike. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you guys well, are, that's are swinging on the back of his bike. Swinging <laughs> is the key word there. Hey, you know what I that's mean? That's his new kickstand. What are you talking listen, about? I told he wears him. that. <laughs> he was squeezing me hard when I was riding. He goes like, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> so listen. It, what you guys do, I love it. You know why? Because you're passionate about it. And I don't care, you know, the, the creepy era to it or whatever. You guys are passionate. You do what you guys do. Any last words? I hear the music. You know what I mean? Thank you for coming out. Thank you guys for joining us at home for our Manson, our first annual. I have a feeling we're going to do this every year for Christmas. Merry we're Christmas. going to do the Manson yeah, things. Merry Christmas, everyone. But, uh, Christmas. You know, where can they find you? They can, can find you at Back, uh, back Porch Tapes. I don't want nobody finding my ass. All right, well. <laughs> Look like you are gonna be looking speaking for of finding me now. Ass. You can go to mansonsbackporch.com. <laughs> Max, his, okay. Yeah, mansonsbackporch.com for for Mike his new website. For me, you can just go to my Facebook page, Stoner Van Houten. Right, right. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Joel Leatherface uh, Bangley, who does a lot of Manson artwork, and to all the Manson girls in the Manson blog that we all talk with. Uh, he talks with. Nice. Yeah, the call of women. Shadi, real quick, give us the give us where they can find your photos again. Crime scene art, either on Facebook or Instagram. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Any any last words? You're the you're the you're the, the you know the, the the matriarch, the patriarch, the. I'm at a loss. You're, and you're, like, you're, he's you're, the shock. You're, you're, you're still yeah. you really are crushing on her hard body, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> I've never seen you tongue tied like this. I was this. carving on this on, <laughs> on Facebook on her picture. Something. Something. That's why she didn't <laughs> accept. Mike probably too much <laughs> of the topic. One more thing though, with the album, it's right here. It's uh, Prime Minister of the Underworld .com. That's where you can buy the new Charlie album. Perfect, album. ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I want to wish you from the bottom of my heart a Merry All Christmas, right. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever, whatever it is you celebrate. We've had a great year. We're looking forward to 2014. Festivus. The Delta. That's, that's it. Right. Festivus. Festivus. <laughs> the Delta Bravo show on T Radio V. Goodbye, 2013. We'll see you in 2014. Thanks for letting us know. Happy New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Family Christmas.